Hello, today we're gonna unbox Severin Automatic Coffee Machine KV8090 and Severin Milk Frother SM9688. I'm going to open both of them and also going to check how easy it is to make coffee with these machines. First I'm going to open Milk Frother and we're gonna check first a little bit the box art here. Let's open the box. Here we have manual, lid, stirring heads, a close up of, of the lid, and close up of both of the stirring heads. Then we have the milk container and base. Milk container is a stainless steel, very simple, without any moving parts, some markings and uh, magnet inside to keep the stirring head on its place. Here we have on and off switch and temperature control. Also you can make cold drinks or warm them up to the 65 Celsius. Underneath we have rubber feet. Behind the base we have rear storage for the stirring heads. And here we have also magnet to keep them in place. And there we have the severing milk throttle. Then we're going to open Severin Automatic Coffee Machine. And here's a little bit the box art first. And now we're gonna open the box. We have manual, three pieces decalcifier and one cleaning cloth. Power cord drip grid and drip tray. Drip grid is stainless steel. Coffee machine front. In front we have moving outlet. And drip tray has two magnets to keep it in place. Coffee machine right side. Then we have behind and there is place for the power cord. Machine from the left side. And here we have also maintenance lid. And behind there we have proving unit. Close up from the proving unit and it's really easy to take off. And here we have operating panel and this is on and off button hot water button, espresso button, and normal coffee button. And here we have water tank. And cover for peeing container. Then let's try some coffee drinks. And here we have oat drink. And let's pour one normal coffee for this one and this old drink doesn't get foamy at all maybe a little bit and first drink is ready and there you go there's a little bit foam but not much and now we're going to do espresso shot and this uh, is a little bit fast forward and here we have express show shot. Now we're trying soya drink and this gets foamy. 
you can do it hot or cold. And here you can see the stirring process and how the drink gets foamy. And we add extra show shot in it. Let's do one normal coffee and if you need to get more space you can always remove the drip tray. And here we have ready normal coffee. Then we try cashew drink. And there's a little bit uh, foaming going on in cashew drink. So we're gonna try that. Let's speed up things a little bit here. Like you can see, there's a little bit of foam in cashew drink. And here we have ready coffee cashew drink. Then we have oat drink again. And this oat drink is different than first one, because this oat drink is designed to get foamy. So it's really nice to use when you make coffee drinks out of this one. And again, here you can see a little bit about the stirring process. And really nice thick foam comes out of this oat drink. And here we have coffee and oat drink together. Also there is a possibility to take only hot water out of this machine. If you like have some tea like I'm doing here. And this is speed up now by the way. Then I have organic oat drink. And I want to try to make some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate came out nicely. Here we can see operating panel lights, warning lights or info lights, what you prefer. And this means uh, low water or you need to add water. If maintenance lid is open, you get warning lights like this. And when you close the lid, the warning light goes away. This means you need to clean coffee crunch container, inner trip container and proving unit. And this scaling needs to be done once a month, when you see this symbol. I personally liked how easy it is to clean this machine. Here we have used coffee crowns. Here we have proving unit. And these parts are all what you have to clean. Then you need to always clean the proving unit and the coffee crunch container. This ends my unboxing video for Severin. And this combo is nice, I have been using a while now. And I thank you for watching this. Bye bye.